Here are some vintage lamps I got recently. This one is here in the computer room. It's a three-way. The switch seems like it's got a lot of wear to it, but it is still working properly. I'm not sure what the brand is on this one. Let's see if there is anything on the bottom. I don't think so that there is. No, I don't see anything. It's missing one of the, the feet, but it's still stable enough to use. There's the plug-in. It came with a chimney, but I didn't use the chimney because I wanted to put a CFL because of how outrageous the um, cost of electricity has become over the last month. And the chimney sits inside here and it would block all the airflow, so it would not be a good application for a CFL. So I just installed it without the chimney. The CFL is a 23 watt, 1600 lumens uh, model ESL23T2 slash 4 slash ESM CFL. And this is one of those Echo Smart branded ones that I got at the Home Depot. And despite all the commentary that people are providing about these CFLs, I've had some of these in service for over two years now. I bought them when I first moved in. And not a single one has failed. And many of these have quite a few hours at this point. Because a lot of these lamps I just run all the time in the evening. So I think the CFLs are pretty decent. And the quality of light is excellent. There's no, no banding, no flicker. The coloring is correct. So I like the CFLs. Something interesting about this lamp is we have a hole here which looks like there could have been a wire coming out. So I don't know if this is the original configuration for this lamp. Oh, uh, there's one on that side too. Hmm. Maybe that's just used for the connectors and it has no electrical significance. Nice, uh, I guess this is called milk glass cover. It doesn't quite sit in there right, but it's sturdy enough. That's a nice lamp. I like that lamp a lot. It's not blinding, but it still throws a lot of light down and a lot of light up. So there's one lamp. The other lamp is in the kitchen. is this fruit lamp. Now I am actually very disappointed with this fruit lamp because the fruit is not a nice color. It's like a brown. Which is weird because it don't look that way when it's off. When it's off it looks real nice and I plugged it in and oh that's disappointing. I was hoping that it would look kind of like that one does where the fruit's a nice light color. So, I don't know about this fruit lamp. I'm not sure if this is going to stay here or not. I'm going to try to put a brighter bulb in there before we uh, discredit this lamp. I think right now it has a 40 watts bulb in there. The problem is it's a stinking uh, candelabra base. Oh, I could get a converter. I suppose I could actually just change it. This is a standard hookup. I could change this to a regular E26 base and then put, put something much brighter in there. Put it in 100 or 150 even. So we'll try that. I really want this to work. because It's a cool lamp for the kitchen, but it just doesn't look that nice as it is. I think the glass is too thick. Because if you look from the bottom here, at some of these pairs and you can see how thick that is it's just way too thick and the lights not shining through properly this is the lamp 50-02930-8187 uh, the lamp 
There's no idea how old this is. I don't think it's all that old. It's got a one of these inline switches on it. So that's that. Disappointing, but maybe I can make it better. The apple's kind of okay, but everything else just seems dim. Alternatively, I might potentially put this lava lamp there instead if I can't get that to work out. Because I don't know where else to put this lava lamp. And I really would like to put this somewhere because these are kind of cool. This has, uh, this requires an incandescent bulb. This one's a 40 watt. Probably an appliance bulb. Yeah, 40 watt appliance bulb. And this is an interesting scenario where an LED would not work because you need the heat from the incandescent. Although with how hot some of the junky DEO bowls of today get, maybe they would work, who knows.